almost everyone knows how to prove square root of two or square root of three is irrational. That's proof by contradiction. But today we're going to try to prove using well ordering principle. Recall that the well ordering principle says that for long empty subset S of the positive integers has a least element. That is the foundation for the principle of mathematical induction. And of course, there is another related proof method that is method of infinite descent. Now here, we want to use it to prove square root of 3 is irrational. We also want to prove by contradiction. So assume square root of 3 is rational by definition. That is the ratio of two integers p and q, right? So we know that square root of 3 is positive. So assume here p and q are both positive. So which means square root of 3 times q become a positive integer p, right? So here we consider a subset of positive integers s, which is for all integer n such that square root of 3 times n belongs to positive integers. Here we assume square root of 3 is rational, which means the set S is long empty because the number Q satisfies this, right? So this is long empty subset of positive integer. We can apply the well ordering principle, which says there exists a least element M. Okay, so what is the M? Of course, M is such that square root of 3 times M is also an integer, right? So here we assume that integer is p. Okay. Now we try to find a contradiction. All right. So what we do is to consider m times square root of three minus one. Okay. So here we use the fact that square root of three is some value between one and two. It's greater than one. It's strictly greater than one and strictly smaller than two. So here we claim that this is a positive quantity and this whole quantity here becomes an integer minus another integer and by the closure of the operation here, this is also integer and it is positive. So it's a positive integer. So which means this one is an integer. Now is this integer, how is it compared to m? Since square root of three less than two, so square root of 3 minus 1 must be less than 1, so which means this integer is smaller than m, right? Now, is this integer inside s? s, by definition, is all number that square root of 3 times this integer is an integer, right? So what is the value of square root of 3 times this quantity? Now, we just shown that it, it is a positive integer smaller than m, right? So let's do that. Let's times square root of 3. You notice that square root of 3, this becomes 3m is an integer, minus square root of 3m, that is p, another integer. The whole thing is an integer, which means this quantity here, by definition, belongs to s. All right? So we have found an even smaller value than the least value in s, which is a contradiction. So that's the proof. Proof using well ordering principle. Hope you follow the steps and enjoy the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.